Welcome to Dependable Flame, where we explore vintage petrol lighters, ashtrays, tobacchiana, and other useful mechanisms. Make yourself at home. Today we are going to refuel our soft yellow flame Zippo butane insert that we just fueled up and installed last week. I'm really thrilled with this lighter insert so far. Could not be happier. But I fueled it up on Friday late. Well, I should say late in the afternoon. It wasn't like it was late at night. And then late Tuesday evening, it began to show signs that it was out of fuel. So today is Thursday. I'm getting ready to do the live stream. So hopefully many of you will have joined us for that. And we will surely be talking about this insert in the live stream. But we're going to fuel this up. We did six seconds last time. And this time we are going to do, I don't know, maybe about 10 to see if it stays fueled any longer. So even though there is no fuel adjustment on this butane insert, we're going to go ahead and bleed the valve, make sure that we get all the remnants of the old fuel out of there before we refill it. This is a general practice that I have begun with all my butane lighters just to empty them of all the residual compressed butane gas before charging them back up. Shouldn't take too much. You can hear that slight hiss. I can feel that on my finger there. And that sounds like that's about it. Still got a spark, but as you saw, it wasn't lighting. At least not lighting well enough to light something off of in the first place. So now we will go ahead and recharge it with our butane gas. Now you always want to do this upside down. I've seen some tutorials on YouTube where people are pumping it upright, putting the gas in the inlet with the whole thing sitting upright. You always want to turn them upside down. And we're just going to press firmly. And like I said, this one we're going to do for a count of about 10 seconds. So we obviously had some leakage. I don't know if that nozzle on that vector is not exactly made for this particular or if there's just some leakage in the way that it fills up. No big deal. Gets a little cold. You can feel the metal being cold to the touch. So we're going to set that aside for now for a couple of moments or a couple of minutes let that gas settle down before we try to put it back into the, the lighter case and light it back up and last time which really was the only time that it has not lit for me was when I struck it the first time after fueling it when pulling it out of the box while we are waiting we might as well go ahead and pull the flint spring and screw out and just see how far down our flint has been ground and it does look like you can see that it is a little bit shorter definitely not full length but still a good bit of it left not going to have to change that in the next few weeks anyway I don't know maybe a month or so we'll see we're just going to go ahead and 
just like we refill our petrol lighters, our EDC lighters on the live stream every week. If it's time to refill this lighter, then that's what we'll do. Otherwise, I will refill it on camera and put out a video so that you see everything that happens with this upgrade of a butane insert that I am really happy with from the Zippo Manufacturing Company. It is manufactured in China, which I think you'd be hard pressed to find a butane lighter these days, which is not manufactured in China or at least Asia. Get our insert installed back into the case. I would obviously rather have an insert that was manufactured in the USA, especially with kind of how we've seen the supply chain get disrupted through COVID and since then. But not that big a deal. The major thing is that we have a butane lighter that works. And this lighter, at least so far, or I should say this insert, this lighter insert, seems to work marvelously well. So fits right into the case. Does have a little bit of movement, no big deal. Let's just see here, it's been a couple of minutes. Lights right up. So, so far so good. I have had some comments underneath the original video where we reviewed this insert and there were some complaints. I have had none of those problems. There was one person who said that it lit once or twice and they couldn't get it to light again. Or people complaining about the fact that you have to hold down this button to release the butane gas. But otherwise they would have had to tie it to the lid or give you an on off button or something. And I don't have any problem with this. I don't have any problem with it at all. At least it is flint sparked. Lights up. When it is fueled, it seems like every time, first time, every time. Just like Ronson used to advertise. And I am happy to use this. It's a nice alternative to my Ronson Jet Lights, which I use. Which, of course, they have a hard blue butane flame. Where this has the soft yellow flame. Which, sometimes you need a different flame depending on what you're lighting or the conditions of the wind outside wherever you happen to be lighting up so I will continue to use both and will continue to update you on my experience with what I consider to be a magnificent upgrade to be able to stick this off into your Zippo now, the fuel the first time lasted about five days from Friday afternoon through Saturday, Sunday, Monday, and then was done Tuesday, or at least started sputtering and not really lighting a, fuel, a full flame. But hopefully with putting a little bit of gas, a little bit more gas in there, it'll last a little bit longer. I also tested it an awful lot last time so probably won't be quite so much as that this time we'll see anyway i will keep you updated and again so far a tremendous addition to my edc rotation until next time